Oh, Halloween. It's when kids put on costumes and wander around the neighborhood begging for candy. Normally, I love Halloween. It's tons of sugar and tons of crafting. It's basically the best holiday ever. Except this year, it's really hard to say yes to somebody coming to your door and talking to you face to face. I mean, I want to live through the holiday, so I have to find a way to distribute candy to happy trick-or-treaters from the other side of the door. Which is why today, we're building a COVID-safe, socially distant Halloween candy dispenser. I've actually built the same basic thing in the past. Back at BuzzFeed, we modified a snack dispenser with a servo to dispense puppy food when people commented on Facebook Live. It's actually not that hard to remove the Facebook part and add in Twilio so we can dispense candy based on a text or phone call. I'm just gonna take this internet connected servo board from this other project and put it in here. I think that the projects get upset when you take the brain from one and put it in the other. <laughs> maybe add a better servo, make an adapter that fits it, and hook the whole thing up to a Twilio number that detects when I text trick or treat. Trick or treat. And here it is, I guess. Your Halloween guests walk up to the house, text the dispenser, the servo operates for an appropriate number of seconds and they get a tasty treat. The build was pretty fast. Actually, I updated it in a few hours between my meetings and some office hours I was holding for hackathon. Yeah, this was like updating the hardware with electric imp, 20 minutes, adding Twilio, five minutes, 3D printing an adapter to attach all of the things to the other things, like two and a half hours. But to be honest, this whole thing felt kind of incomplete. Like, okay, I texted for candy, but what else? I was in the process of adding mask detection using a robot eye that would dispense candy only if the texter was wearing a mask when I saw this pop up in a Slack channel. Trick or treat. Oh, yes. So it turns out that while I was working on my text-controlled candy turner, Ankur, Ankit, Richard, and Patrick were building a tablet-controlled candy pusher. My favorite part? They built theirs so kids could talk to it, and the candy phone operator could play spooky sounds in response and eventually dish out candy. So our dispenser is built to be completely touchless. Kids come up to the dispenser and they yell trick or treat like they usually do. Then on the other side of the room or the other side of the world, we have an operator listening in on a dashboard. Hi, I'm Ankit. I'm a co-creator of the Candy Bot and today I'll be operating it remotely. There's actually a hidden phone sitting under the device with a long running phone call. That phone call transports the trick or treat over the PSTN to Twilio. Then Twilio sends it to our operator dashboard where the operator can hear the trick or treat and in turn, they can decide to dispense candy or introduce a scary sound. Trick or treat. They click dispense the candy. That actuates a motor, which literally pushes candy out to the kid. And we save Halloween. I like how in this build, Anker is supposed to be the kid. Stay back. Candy is dispensing. Yay, yeah, thank you. Thanks so much for checking out our project. We hope that you might build one too and help us save Halloween. What I love the most about this is the attention to detail about how kids want to experience Halloween. Halloween is so much about being surprised, about going up to something and hear it make a spooky noise and getting to talk to it and having it talk back. It's about the unexpected. Plus, the same tech setup with voice interaction and an operator at the other end can be used for stuff like touchless retail in a time where we all have to stay socially distant. I love this so much, I'm totally gonna build it at my house and save my build for another day. Hey, if you like this build, then subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can see more when this kind of thing comes out. Or you can check out this cool video right now.